Okay guys, I'm back here in uh, the area where we got the uh, charge beam. I kind of called attention to this earlier, but yeah, you can use a power bomb here. And you think that's actually all you'll need for this, but that's actually incorrect because you also need the gravity suit, I'm pretty sure. Because water. And if you don't have the gravity suit, you can't exactly jump out of this, so that is why I see you say you need that. If you do need it though, I have I'm not sure. But nonetheless, we're actually here. And somewhere in here we have Oh. Okay, well, yeah, you definitely need the gravity suit because you need to speed boost through the entire room. And if you do that energy tank. Okay, now I'm gonna grab the next thing, so hold on a second, guys. Okay, we're back in this room. This is actually where we got our second missile expansion, and it's also where this uh, one energy tank was. Uh, this is actually kind of weird. Uh, basically, you want to shine spark up here. Uh, I don't think that's all you need, though, because... Yeah, water, so I think you also need the walking on air power-up. Okay, maybe you don't. I, I don't know. I don't know all you need, but either way, missile. Uh, before I go, though, I have a feeling there might be something else in here. Yep. Okay, another missile. And uh, we only have two more missile expansions because I double-checked off-camera and... Yeah, 230 is the exact number, and I know where those two missile tanks are, I know where the uh, last energy tank is, and I know where the power bombs are. They're actually all back at Criteria, so I'm actually going to see you guys back at Samus' ship, so uh, hold on just a minute. Okay, here we are back at Samus' ship, and believe it or not, all of the upgrades are actually accessed in this area, believe it or not, so yeah, we literally came full circle in quite every sense of the phrase. Uh, gonna want to space jump all the way up here because power bomb door. And this will actually grant us once we get through this room the very last power bomb expansion. So we have all the power bombs now. All we need are the last two missile expansions and the energy tank. And, much like we did here, we're actually going to do the same thing on the other side of this room. Oh, wow. Um, okay, that works. I didn't think I'd land right where I needed to, but I did. So, hey, yay. In here, this room is actually pretty tough, and... Yeah, this can be kind of a challenge, but with the screw attack, it's actually a lot easier. I think you can get this once you have the space jump, but again, I much prefer to have the screw attack. And here's the last energy tank, but that's not all we can do in here. As you might expect, there is something else. Yeah, we have to kind of take some trips through the acid here. That's okay, though. We have full energy, so it's not like it's going to do very much to us. And when we go in this room... Stay to the right grab that missile expansion, and I think if we do this fast enough, I don't know, it'll be close. Nope, it already started forming. So yeah, we basically have to do that for both sides, so we have to go back all the way to the other part of this room and do that again. But uh, that's essentially where the last two missile upgrades are, so now that you guys know how to do that, so I'll see you guys back in this room from the other side. Okay, here we are, right here again. And we got the last missile expansion. And now you know what it looks like to have full equipments. Although I, I'm down 5 energy, but 
Eh, that's close enough, I guess. So, now that we've gotten everything in the game, we are actually ready to go to the end of this game, believe it or not. Oh, power bomb, really? Fine, we'll have it your way, game. So, we're gonna go down here. These guys are complete jokes now. As you might expect. And we're gonna go right to where the boss shrine was from earlier. And now that we've defeated all of the bosses... The gems are gonna break. The statues are gonna go gray. And with that, we can now access the final area of the game. After the statue uh, finishes its descent, I guess. Come on, come on, let's do this. I want to fight some other brain! And here is the elevator that will take us to the final area of the game. Which is known only as Torian. Or Torian, whatever you want to call it. This area, pretty difficult. A lot of powerful enemies here, including big super freaking Metroids. The one super missile will take him out, and they can also, uh, Restore a lot of your uh, energy and weapons, too, so don't be afraid to use super missiles on them. And yeah, these are a lot bigger than the ones we saw at Meridia, so they actually do... Um, they take a significant amount of damage to be destroyed. Also, if one happens to latch on you, um, use a bomb. A bomb will usually knock them free. Off of you, I mean, so... That's what you want to do. Got a lot of huge freaking Metroids here. I wonder what's the... Um... Occasion... Well, either way, this is the final leg of the game, I believe. Ah, get off me, get off me! Oh god, we also have these creatures, too. These creatures... How do you take these guys down? Okay, yeah, these guys, they can't be killed with shard shots. You need to use super missiles, which... It's kind of a pain. But that's how you deal with them. Oh god! Well, um... Terizo got murdered. That's kind of weird. Lots of death around here. Oh god. Oh god, he hurts me. Oh god! Um. Oh god, get off me. Get off me! Power bomb! Oh wow, I almost died. Well, at least he's kind of let me live. Okay then. 
Well, that was interesting. Uh, we're almost dead. Which sucks, but... At least we aren't dead. I suppose. Anyway, what's in here? Oh, wow, a refuel station. Right after I got sucked to death. That sounded very wrong. Well, either way, let's use it. Might as well. They were nice enough to give it to us, so we might as well. And let us continue. We're down in super missiles. Again, I don't know why those stations don't refuel super missiles. That would make sense. That's just me, though. Also, this area is way too quiet, and eyeball door. I have a feeling this is the last time we'll see you. I don't know, call it a hunch, call it the fact that I've played this game before, call it whatever you will, I'm just pretty sure we might not be seeing him again. One last save station before we get to the finale. From now on, I'm probably going to be using regular missiles, because this chamber might seem kind of familiar. Maybe not the same exact chamber, but, you know, I'm kind of a replica of a certain chamber we've seen before. This is actually the chamber of the Mother Brain. Okay, well, I didn't mean to use that super missile. That's okay, though. Actually, I could probably just use, uh... Charge shots, couldn't I? No, I have to use missiles. Okay. Fair enough. And there she is. Good old Mother Brain. Take her out. And we did. Okay, cool. However, I don't think that's going to be it. Oh, nope. She's still alive. And yeah, she grows a freaking huge body. That's fair. Well, nonetheless, this is the final boss fight of the game. Pretty simple. Just keep firing stuff at her. She doesn't really attack that much. When she does, it does hurt, but um, it's nothing to really worry about too much. Just unload a bunch of missiles on her, and then uh, once you're gone, just you know, use your regular plasma shot. Eventually, she'll get uber powerful and do an attack you can't avoid. But until then, let's just keep firing stuff at her. Yep, here it comes. Yep, no matter what, she's going to hit you right here, so don't worry about dodging this. And then she's just going to be a jerk. Try it again. Oh, yeah, she's going to do it again. My god, that takes three energy tanks. Now, now she's just having a little fun with us. Oh god, this is going to kill me. Metroid! You came back! Wait a minute. The Metroid's helping me. Does that mean that this is the same Metroid that... I think it is! It's the baby Metroid hatchling that Ridley took from us at the beginning of the game. And it's actually helping us. I approve. 
Thank you, Baby Metroid. You're awesome. Oh god, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no. I told you before, I don't taste very good. Oh, well, that's nice. It's actually restoring us. I'm liking this Baby Metroid. Thank you, buddy. You're really awesome. Wait. What are you doing, Mother Brain? You leave my Metroid pet alone. Oh my god, did you actually... <gasps> you killed my Metroid! That's it. Super awesome power! You will be revenge! Yeah, take that. That's what you get for destroying my Metroid. Bitch. Sorry, I had to. After what she did to my Metroid, I couldn't resist but using the B word. But yes, much like all Metroid games, once you beat the final boss... Escape sequence! So now we need to get the hell out of here in an area that we've never been in before. Oh, nice. The path is pretty straightforward, though. Not much to really, uh, figure out, I guess. This will eventually lead us back to a very familiar area that we've been to before. But until we get there, uh... Okay, no, not this way. You wanna go this way? I believe we do. I'm still pissed off that she destroyed my Metroid. It was my Metroid! If she had a Metroid, I would never destroy it. Okay, well maybe that's a lie, but still. The fact matters is she destroyed my Metroid, and I do not like. Okay, well, let's hurry up because we're down to one, uh, two minutes and I still have no idea where we are, so. Let's get out of here as soon as possible. I have a feeling we might want to go up. Up is usually better in this scenario. Yep, I think we chose correctly. This room should look very familiar. This is actually the bottom of Criteria, where we uh, first uh, came up through here when we uh, started the game. So we're back in familiar territory, and the ship is not very far either, so I approve. We still need to pick up the pace just a little bit, though, because there is something I want to show off before I finish this. I think I'm going to have enough time, but still I'm going to be very, very close if I do this. Okay, basically, hurry up to where you fought the uh, Terezo statue for the very first time. Which is down here, if you don't remember. And in here, all of the animal creatures that we found throughout the game will be in here. And we're going to rescue them. So yeah, that's a little secret you can do. Uh, it does waste a little bit of time, but it's not far from the ship, so as long as you're not running like on 10 seconds at this point, I think you should be fine. And then if we go out here, we'll be back in very familiar territory. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, there we go, guys. There we go. That is Super Metroid.
Is the planet actually gonna... Yeah, it's gonna explode. Wow. Goodbye, planet Zebs. Or Zebes, whatever you want to call it. And there we go. Escaping the planet. The operation was completed successfully. Clear time. Aw, oh, dang it, I was 23 minutes short. Well, I'm not going to be able to show off the best ending here, but uh, I'll include it at the end of this video, at the very end. Yeah, I couldn't quite get it. I was... T I'm actually... I'm happy, but unhappy at the same time, because... I did two hours better than my practice file, because my practice file I got over five hours. So I definitely did this a lot faster. But the only thing is, like, I still was 23 minutes slower. Uh, there's a lot of corners I know I can cut now, now that I know how much time I was actually behind. And I think it would also help if I, like, did the sweep of power-ups later on once I had everything. That way, once I finished with Ridley, I could go straight to terrain, but, um... It's fine, it's fine. I I think I did fine for what I did. So yeah, this was a Super Metroid. A fun, nice, short project to go through. Like I said before, one of my all-time favorite games for the Super NES. And definitely the best Metroid game, at least in my opinion. I uh, had a lot of fun doing this. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that this game has been done, maybe not to death, but it has been done a lot on YouTube before, but... You know, I wanted to do this game eventually, and I wanted to put my own spin on it, so I felt that this is going to be as good as time as any to do it, so that's what I did. And I had a lot of fun with it, too, so yeah, it was really cool. Uh, as for other Metroid games, like I said before, I think I'm probably going to do Zero Mission at some point, and then Metroid Fusion and Metroid Other M, because I love those games, too. Um... Not sure when I'm going to do the Prime series. I probably will at some point, but it won't be for a while. Again, I'm not the biggest fans of those games, so I'm not going to push for them. As for when I'm going to do them, I don't know. I might do Zero Mission sometimes next year, maybe. It's a possibility. And again, same thing for Fusion. Aw, Gunpei Yukoi. Great man, great man. And this is where the uh, best ending kind of comes into play. If you uh, beat it in three hours, uh, I believe Samus is going to be even more suitless. But no. Uh, did it over three hours, so she... Still had a bit of her power suit on. But that's okay, that's okay. Collecting items is 100%, of course. So remember, 230 missiles, 50 power bombs, 50 super missiles, 4 reserve tanks, and 14 energy tanks. And of course, all of the other items, too. But yeah, that's going to end this Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys for my next Let's Play. Uh, and uh, I know this project ended a little bit before Christmas, so... Uh, happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, all those holidays that are coming up for everybody. Uh, have a good holiday. So, yeah. Uh, that's going to be it. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later.